Yes, yeah, so this is the extended follow-up of our study of abinutuzumab, colatuzumab vidotin, the anti-CD79B um, antibody drug conjugate, and lenalidomide in patients with relapsed and refractory follicular lymphoma. So this study, um, this is the long-term follow-up for this study, and 46 patients are available for long-term follow-up. The eligibility population, we've already published uh, the initial data from this study, so just to reiterate, the, this was a heavily pretreated population with with 88% of patients with grade three or four disease. Uh, more than half of patients uh, had primary refractory disease and uh, also were POD24 positive to their first line therapy. So this was a heavily pretreated patient population. The median number of prior lines of therapy was three. Our overall response rate that was independently uh, assessed was 71% uh, with a CR rate of between 74% uh, with a CR rate of 61% by uh, modified Lugano criteria. And then there were five additional CRs who did not receive uh, bone marrow. So that would have brought the CR rate up to 71%. So a CR rate probably in the high 60s to low 70s um, at the most conservative estimate uh, in the mid 60s. What this abstract really uh, demonstrates is that there are no new safety signals. So all of the toxicity related to this therapy was uh, very common toxicities that were associated with the three drugs, and there were no unusual or additive toxicities. For patients who had clinical benefit, who had a PR um, uh, or better, or stable disease PR or CR, who went on to receive maintenance therapy for up to two years, so obinutuzumab, Q2 months for two years, and lenalidomide for an additional year, there were no new or concerning safety signals. And I think the most exciting thing is that with long-term follow-up, um, uh, with a median follow-up now of 3.6 years, our median progression-free survival has not been reached. So this is really exciting data because what this represents is that the majority of patients who have now been off therapy for two years or more have not relapsed. And that, um, at, that at 3.6 years of follow-up, we have a median progression-free survival that has not been reached. So I think this is really comparable to any of the therapies uh, in follicular lymphoma that are approved today and um, is a to well-tolerated and highly active regimen.